steel workers turn on Trump. We re worse off now than we were before the election. Donald Trump never tires of taking credits for President Barack Obama's economy even if most Americans disagree but the promises he made to forgotten Americans have been nothing but failures. One group that has been particularly hurt by Trump's broken promises is steel workers, whom Trump has repeatedly and ostentatiously shafted. Trump repeatedly boasted about only using American steel on oil pipelines, even as he specifically exempted the Keystone Pipeline from that policy. He promised to pressure China to stop dumping steel in the U.S., only to have steel imports increase under his watch. Now, United Steel Workers Union President Leo Gerard is speaking out against Trump, telling CNN that his membership is hugely frustrated with Trump's failures. There has been no action that has done anything to protect and defend American jobs, Gerard said. In some cases we are worse off now than we were then. Indeed. Since Gerard appeared with Trump in an Oval Office signing ceremony last April, steel imports have increased, and while the promised investigation was completed just under the deadline last week, the results are being kept secret. Trump has also repeatedly offered to ransom U.S. trade with China in exchange for help with North Korea.